Hello Sagittarius, this is your love reading for the 23rd through the 31st. This reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what messages we get for you guys in love for the remainder of the month. Sagittarius, please show me messages for Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Five of Coins. This feeling of being alone. Having a fend for yourself. Some of you may have children, one child, but um, there's this uh, feeling that um, you're all by yourself in something, okay? Some of you guys have just become single parents and are separated from your partner. This is Taurus energy here. And then we have the Four of Coins, yeah. This is like becoming single. Some of you guys are newly single and some of you are not, of course, but there's still this feeling of like, um, there's a lingering feeling from you separating from someone and being closed off to anything else. I feel like this anger, I feel like um, most of you are trying to like recoup your uh, income or save your money even. Like you're doing without. You're struggling. Some of you are struggling right now financially. And then we have a full Aries energy. Hmm. Some of you definitely feel like you made a mistake, like you should not have invested in um, a situation as much as you did before. Okay. Let's see. What is that? Then we have the Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment, Piscean energy. Others of you feel like you are wanting to give something another chance because emotionally you feel like, you know, that's where your emotional fulfillment lies is with someone that left you and your financial freedom lies with being with somebody that left you because I do feel like this like depletion of energy now there's this there's this um this thing where i'm feeling like you guys some of you guys really want to be single you really do but you don't really feel like you can do something on your own without this person like if you could be single and still have like the money and security and things, I feel like some of you would remain single. But for some of you, your your financial stability lies with this person and essentially your emotional fulfillment. So you're attaching your emotional fulfillment to your financial freedom. So having the money means that you're happy for some of you, in other words. And then we have the Ten of Wands there. That is you. I definitely get that you guys are, um, you feel very kind of beat down and you want to start over. You want to do something different. You have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Some of you are like kind of bowing down to someone to fulfill a greater need or um there, there's just this weird feeling that I'm getting from your reading of being with someone because it is going to provide stability for you. Financial stability for you. And that's mainly what you care about at this point. This is not going to be for everybody, but I'm definitely getting this, this feeling of like financial stability equals um 
uh, emotional fulfillment and it makes you happy. Hmm. Then we have the Page of Cups. Yeah. It makes you happy. Because right now, you're just trying to get out, I feel like, a rut for some of you. Then we have the Queen of Swords energy there. For some of you guys, there's somebody else that I feel like um, left this situation. And you feel like this person is living like their best life or whatever. And that makes you feel some kind of way because it's like they left you in a pinch. They left you in a lurk. And you are just wanting to know like the truth of the situation. You're not playing games with this person. You're not playing games with them at all. Feeling foolish about past um, situations, things that have happened. Still thinking about things. Thinking about uh, like what you should have done differently. Uh, how you could have moved differently. There's a lot of things I feel like you guys are wanting to know the answers to from someone else. Someone that you may have put out, like they live with you, you put them out for whatever reason. Maybe they weren't helping you, they weren't contributing to um, your household or your finances even. And um, this person's going on their merry way, doing things that they like to do and um, prospering. But I feel like you guys are feeling like they, when they were with you, they didn't do much. Hmm. We have Gemini energy here. <clears throat> then we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. Just reflecting on things from the past, um, trying to see what you can do differently, trying to, uh, because you want to be happy. You want that ultimate, like, you know, fulfillment, that committed relationship, that loving relationship. But I do feel like money. Finances is the basis of it. It definitely is. There's also somebody else here that I feel like they did leave. But this person's also reflecting. They're also reflecting. But there is something that they're doing currently I feel that's making them happy. This person's probably working a lot. They don't go out much though. I feel like they're looking for you. And then we have a page of wands here. They are definitely still looking for you. I feel still interested. Um, wanting to start over. This person I don't feel is putting in a lot of effort though. That is the thing. I feel like, you know, especially finances I don't feel like this person's contributing contributing to your household or contributing to um, your livelihood as much as you feel like they probably should I do feel like you make them happy I feel like they want to be with you they are still interested but they are not really showing a lot of interest like on the outside it may appear to you that this person has given up it may appear to you that this person is not that interested but they are because they are looking right at you they are looking at their past mistakes they're looking at your past mistakes um i do see you guys looking at this person like um you know you're just having a good time over here i'm struggling you know and I don't even really see you guys kind of looking back at like past issues. I do see this person reflecting at past issues here. Hmm. Okay, so that is what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon.